we are at new cast part of the bright world of metals and uh, we are very privileged to bring the story of adokia industries which are based at calcutta it's a group which have a lot of uh, business within it the when it comes to the metal uh, value chain uh, they are having uh, steel mills they are having uh, casting so here at uh, gifa in the new cast they are uh, having their ac casting part of them producing uh, the castings we are having with us uh, sri dinesh adukia and uh, he is the managing director of the adukia industries and they also represent uh, a lot of associations promoting the industry in a larger perspective in india sir welcome to machine maker sir uh, can you talk about you know adukia is a very big group so how was the start and uh, how you are able to come till now well adukia uh group was established by by my father in 1971 he started by trading then he switched over to processing of scrap in the year 1994 first we took over this casting unit which was a dead unit so we revived that unit in almost 4 5 years started with motor body and uh, gearbox and textile machines for texmeco for gec electric motor and for premium uh, made gearboxes after that in 2002 i think uh, we took over one more unit as steel was exploring at that time so ingot molds are used for making steel ingots so we started making ingot molds so that developed contact with steel industries so when the world was moving down in 2008 we took over two steel units for manufacturing of ingots and uh, in 2011 we took over a big steel plant which was producing sponge iron So that was the raw material of our steel unit so after that we integrated that plant by adding power plant rolling mill everything so now we are almost 1 million ton steel making capacity in west bengal and now we are putting up a pellet plant also 1 billion so now since the third generation has come out they suggested me this is the fourth time that i am coming in uh, jifa and uh, foundry and casting is in my blood because i have made by working on, on the floor the kids insisted me to exhibit i told them okay i am going you also do something so now we are getting good response and we are setting up a new foundry also so that will produce around 50000 tons annually having so much of experience it's look like a dream journey you know the way you are talking from a scrap unit from there taking reviving a dead uh, casting industry and coming all these things and i think that also shows the growth of india as a manufacturing yes, you yes. know you have gone through that phase yes yes and you told that you visited a lot of gifa so how you see that india's growth in last 2 3 decades see in 2004 i think i i was here in jifa or uh, four or three i think then i visited china so at that time only a few indians were here i think one or two exhibitors or maybe 10 12 exhibitors were here so day by day people are participating and uh, india is growing will grow this time it is 180 plus exhibitors from india it is uh-huh. i think one of the strongest participation from yes, any of yes, this yes, asia yes. country so okay, we need to leave china because they yes. are far ahead they have done it but india is a very strong player now yes india is a very strong player now uh, because as you have seen in covid time all the world is looking towards india they are willing to coming out from china base of manufacturing so we have a very good opportunity now and modi ji is there to inspire sir uh, as i am seeing that when it comes to the metal value chain metal processing you play a very large role be it producing the raw material or processing the metal so where you see india as well as adukia 
the contribution in the future of India's uh, manufacturing? See, now what we have done is, uh, we have planned to, not to expand too much, but make quality steel that can be exported to all over the world. Because we are now establishing, we are going out of induction furnace, we are changing towards electric arc furnace. So, quality will be in demand. And we can only be, uh, our global presence will only be there if we produce quality. Adoption of technology is crucial. Yes, 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 yes. And I think in, people are looking at India as a country also. I think this is the time we should invest in technology and give yes, the right quality. Yes, 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 yes. Now we can afford to. Earlier Indians could not afford. Because of good demand of Indian product and Indians are producing good quality steel as well as casting. So now we can afford and we should invest in technology. I was uh, having a discussion during the Hanover Messe with uh, Dr. Jairam Bharadaraj of LG. One thing he told right that time was that uh, don't think India is cheap, we are not cheap, we are not selling cheap materials. I think that image also I think we need to leave and tell that you know you pay us we will give quality and that is where the whole India should look. The will is coming out, the confidence level is coming out. Earlier we were not so much of confident. Now people are getting confident. And we I are think, now getting good treatment in world. And I think you are bringing your third generation here at Gifa, giving them the kind of exposure, showing them the world. I think Adukia can see maybe in next 10 years in a completely different level. And Hoping for best. And we wish you all the very best. Thank you.